have a lot of good memories about this photo. It was a school photo. Even though I didn't enjoy school, I actually was quite a happy-go-lucky sort of a kid. And um, yeah, this photo is like seeing the difference of what I was then to what I am now. And um, for me, it's trying not to lose who I was as well. Like yeah, having this as bring it brings back those memories of you know it's something that was good in good in my childhood. Early on, it just seemed normal that I'd do something wrong, I'd get in trouble. But then later, there was times where I just felt it was unjustified. The times I'd copped a belting or probably the worst one was getting hit so hard that my mum heard it from the front of the house and I was in the backyard. By 12, 13, I was using butane, smoke bongs and pass out, so I was numb with the physical and sexual abuse that was definitely trying to escape from my reality. I think I just always battled with depression and anxiety. I started coming here for counselling. Within the first couple of sessions, I ended up finding out that my ex was cheating on me um, pretty much the whole time I was with her. So it went from getting counselling just for depression to getting counselling because I was probably in the darkest place I've been in a long time. Um, suicidal and just yeah, seeing no hope for nothing. Raylene, my counsellor, she seemed to plant these seeds in my head, like even coming to the gym. She mentioned it one week and I was like, nah, no way. He's one of the most regular clients I've ever had and um, just incredible progression um, from being very, very negative. A lot of my suggestions, you would just kind of, oh, nah. You know, he'd put up barriers, but then it would plant the seed and he'd come back, if not the next session, maybe another two sessions down the track and he'd be onto it. I came here and it was my reason to get up every day. This kept me going. I was coming here five days a week. People are what make this place great. You know, it is uh, very much the traditional Aboriginal style of things. It's very much family and very open when you come here. It's not, um, you don't feel like you have to pretend to be something you're not. Working out in this gym, it was physically fulfilling as well as mentally. It would give me a space to clear my head. I would come in here and not worry about anything outside of this place. I actually got a job. I actually got back into the workforce, which I didn't think I'd do so soon. I'm working in parks and gardens, which is something I actually enjoy doing. Without this place, I don't think I'd be alive. The support, the encouragement to keep going and keep, you know, Sarah actually says keep coming through the door, you know, no matter how you're going, just keep coming through.